Ooh. Well, this is a game changer. <laughs> about to take angel for a walk hey everybody thanks for tuning in um yeah it's gonna be a great day i just woke up and threw a little bit of a face on because like i haven't gotten much sleep but it's for a great reason and yeah we're gonna we're gonna go for a little walk see whatever whenever i say angel come here come here you want to go outside okay i gotta bring you guys in the kitchen with me because you have to see how dirty the kitchen is that's yeah that's only like two days from two people. Like Darren, when he takes the trash out, he goes through and cleans stuff out the fridge. And then this is what I get left with. Yeah, so wanna see my little ghetto behind set up for what I'm cooking right now? <laughs> Look, this is so good. On a plate, it's not even a plate. It's just, I don't know, paper towel. And my little eggs, I put turmeric in there so they're so um, yellow. Turmeric's anti-inflammatory by the way. And yeah, I just had to show you guys that because I was like, what the heck am I doing in here? It's so, <laughs> my whole setup is so messed up. So ridiculous. And I wanted to show you guys that, you know, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to always look pretty. Like, of course, when we take pictures for social media and Instagram and stuff, and we always make our plates look really, really pretty. But behind the scenes, it could be looking like this. It's so crazy. Which is what I'm going to have to do today to clean up this crap. But... I need to eat first, so that's why I did this. Angel's sitting here waiting like she's about to get some more food, and she's, she's not. Ooh, this is really great lighting. Hi. I got a little bit of abs left, but not really. I made the eggs first, and I don't know why I did that, because y'all know eggs cook quicker than anything else, so I don't understand why the heck I did that. But I made this egg scramble, and it was so good, y'all. Like, this is all that's left. Like, I can't even show y'all the goodness because it's like all that's left and they're so yellow because once again because I added some turmeric and then I put some garlic in it um and sea salt and black pepper and of, um the gar the black pepper is supposed to like activate something in the turmeric so it makes it like helps bring out the anti-cancer anti-inflammatory properties so it's but it's really good like it tastes so good and um these are my wonderful waffles I made it with some Kodiak cakes and half a scoop of the Quest protein because it's kind of thick. So I find that it's pretty good for like making stuff like bacon, doing pancakes and stuff like that. So I'm going to just, and I put some blueberries in it too. I'm going to go ahead and demolish this because it looks like, it already looks a mess. Uh, hopefully the next meal that I show you guys will be put together a little bit and more nicer. But, ah, it's so good. Hey guys, I am back home from a great workout with Dev. I so, I'm so sorry. I forgot my camera. So I got a little bit of footage for y'all with, um, with, uh, what's it name? With my, with my iPhone, but it's not really, you know, it's not like as clear, but I just want to show you guys my post. I'm really sorry about that too. I don't know how the hell I forgot my camera on a vlog day, but go figure. I'm gonna have to combine today and tomorrow now, but it's all good. I'm just eating some kale mixed in with some, um, these cheesy. Oh, let me show you guys what it is. So this is like some sauteed kale that I made earlier in the week. And then I just had made spaghetti. So I used the meat from the spaghetti in there and made like a little combination. And then I just topped it off with these, crushed them up. Pretty good macros. I found these at Target, by the way. They taste pretty good. I made it like my little own croutons. And there's, it's low carb. So it works out. But yeah, only six carbs in this whole thing, nine fat and 10 grams of protein. So these are like cheesy snacks, but if you like cheese, check them out. Just wanted to let y'all know that before I devour this because it's so good. Like when I be seasoning this spaghetti meat, y'all, it be so bomb. So I'm still sitting here. I'm about to do some work on the computer real quick, but I want to show y'all what I'm eating. So I have this little snack right here. Haven't tried it yet, but I mean, 
looks pretty good I just wanted to mix up my carb sources this week and not just have it come from you know mostly bread and stuff because you know post show you get all excited like oh I can fit you know car I can fit like all these this bread and donuts and you know random shit like random stuff into your diet and then you realize like it's really doesn't make you feel but like at least for me it wasn't making me feel more energized wasn't making me feel better like yeah I was hitting my carbs but I can do it in other ways and that's what I'm trying to do so I'm gonna limit those you know those foods especially the the processed sugar and I just had a skinny cow oh skinny cow ice cream sandwich cookies and cream it's about 30 carbs I think those were that was the first time I had carbs since um or since a, a good significant amount of carbs since breakfast when I had the Kodiak cakes which was like 30 carbs too and my carbs are at 190 right now so I'm still way behind I gained like five pounds that I am not happy with so I'm trying to bring it back down bring bring it back down to 135 that's where I want to sit at you know for the majority of this year so just about putting the work in just had a great workout with Dev so I'm sure that in the morning I'll probably my weight will start to even out you know but just saying it starts with five then it becomes 15 then it becomes 50 so I am NOT gonna just take this little five for granted and be like oh it's just five pounds no it's too much you're my baby angel you're my baby girl oh look at the little girl I love how she sits on me she's such a baby she's such a little baby Oh my little, she don't look at the camera, it's so funny, like she knows it's on. So, <clears throat> I haven't even showed you guys much of today because I've just been doing some seemingly boring business stuff. I'm getting together a new series for the channel, which you guys, I believe you are going to love. It's going to be not really so much about me at all. It's going to be showcasing a bunch of different people um, with really incredible stories to share. So that's a little precursor. She always makes me itch. It's a little precursor to what's to come very, very soon. Um, I know you guys, you usually ask me about my own fitness story, and I'm going to be posting that video um, very, very soon as well. So that's on the schedule. Let me show you guys something that I've been doing that's making me more productive in everyday life. So I read up a lot. Well, I listen to a lot of like entrepreneurs and their advice and like their podcasts and you know audiobooks and stuff but aside from just listening I'm really learning to actually apply the things that they say because there's so many things that we hear every day and so many inspirational memes and inspirational stories and all this kind of great stuff that we're like oh yeah that's great but deep down we really think that like we can't achieve those same things even though there's people who have overcome great adversities and have all these great journeys to share and everybody goes through ups and downs so anyway just through my research and through this wonderful coaching program that I'm in called um, Landmark I think I mentioned it to you guys before I'm not sure but I don't know this program um, I started off just going to the one court like the first course which I didn't know was the first course at the time and then I just you know I stuck with it and it's basically really helping me to just get out of my own way and helping me to just achieve like just go for it and accomplish everything I want to accomplish like I've been clearing up clearing up you know the past kind of completing some things that I hadn't like dealt with in you know a long time like we do that as humans and those are just like some examples and um it's just so much it's been so great such a great presence in my life and it's like it's training it's like an education for like it's really always hard for me to describe everything that landmark is like doing for me but it's um it's really been a great presence in my life and the people that I've met through the program are truly truly amazing I mean we're we're just you know regular everyday people but just really out to do some really extraordinary things and so I just wanted to share that with you guys and I'm also sharing the fact that on August 27th um, we're having our last guest event so if you guys want to come out if you're in the DMV area um, it's gonna be at the Holiday Inn just sub Columbia it's going to be from 7 to 9.30 um, at night. So I'll be there. Um, everyone in my class will be there. My program leader, I'll we'll be there to, you know, just help you learn more about Landmark and help you to see what's what could be there for you, what's possible for you. It's it's free. You don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to register or anything. It's just you for you to come out and see what's possible. And I'm just sharing with you guys because I this channel is meant to empower and motivate and inspire you all to be great like I don't know everything I'm not 
saying I know everything. I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. And I really hope to see some of you guys there if you can make it. Um, once again, it's Thursday night, August 27th, 7 to 9, 30 p.m. I'll be there. You guys will hear all about Landmark, learn some more. And, yeah, it's going to be a great event. So, hope you all can come. Talking to my sister. Say hey. Hey to YouTube. <laughs> hey. We're so silly. We're coordinating, trying to get um, the gift box for my grandma's blanket. Well, I, I got to show you guys that. I should go show that to you right now, actually. So this is a blanket we got made for grandma. So excited about this. Had to get all my aunts and uncles and cousins involved with the project. But I think, because her birthday is next week, she's going to be 89. So this is going to be really great. Uh, uh, get up, get up, off, oh, off, oh, off. Oh. It's gonna be really great for her. So let me just show you guys some of my family tree. I am so pleased with how the blanket turned out. I'm so excited to give it to my grandma. And it's not just for me, it's from my entire family. Like we all had to collaborate to make it happen. So I'm really happy that we did. And I'm just really excited. It's about showing the people that you love, that you actually love them. So the blanket came from collage.com. I found a really great group on for it. And then on top of that, when you order your first order, it's like 60% off. So if any of you guys wanted to do a photo project, um, which are oftentimes really special for people. You can go over there, check them out. They obviously do great work. Just showed you guys that blanket looks really exceeded my expectations. Because the reality is, is I, you know, I could come up with a million fucking inspirational quotes to make you feel warm and fuzzy, but it's not the fucking truth. You know, the truth of the matter is, is that building yes. financially, um, it, it, it definitely goes audience, even it's about the money. The money is a byproduct of how fucking good you are. It's not about the money. You know, I've said this before, dude. You focus you focus on the fucking mm. money. Next time you could be focused mm. on being good or winning. It tastes kinda like you know, a little you know, bit like a donut. Guys, random, but it's good. Like yeah. Wow. Cause it's date night at Bud Rockers. Well, um, Fuddruckers was a waste of time and calories. All I ate was half of that chicken sandwich and some um, onion rings because it just was not, the chicken sandwich was good, but the burger was so just bland and I was like, this is not worth all the damn carbs and fats. At least you have a cheat meal, you wanna make it worth it, you know? And now it's like almost 10 o'clock. We've been here since like nine, like the early nines or whatever, early in the ninth hour. Actually not the ninth hour, it's like the 23rd, earlier in the 21st hour. But um, yeah, we could have went right there to McDonald's for that, to be quite honest. And probably would have enjoyed the meal a lot more, had a lot more fun with it, but. We here, Dan's coming out. We gotta rush and hope we get a good seat at this um, movie. So, this, we are super close to the movies because of Fuddruckers. We never go in that muffin store ever again. We never go into that place ever again. <laughs> Let me show you how close we are. It's not terrible. So we just got back from watching Straight Outta Compton and it was so good. It was really, um, like inspirational at the end of the like of the day. That's a great way to sum it up. I was really touched by the whole movie, and of course I cried like a baby. At the, you know when Easy E when they were showing him, and then he passed away. 
crying like a little girl. I am a girl. So there. But it was so good. Darren and I were just like so into the movie the whole time. Like we were just like I like from the moment it started, like I couldn't really stop watching it. Like I was so into it. They did such a great job with that. And if y'all haven't seen it, you need to go see it. I don't care where you're from, what color you are, what you think about NWA. Go watch the movie. It was great.